Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. Just wanted to drop a quick video on you. Just picked up this Bridgeport mill with Prototrack MX2 control installed. I was able to inspect the mill and the bedways looked to be in excellent condition. So I figured it would be a good gamble even if the control system was shot. If the uh, control system was shot, I'd replace it with a more modern centroid control system. To me, this would be cost effective as the machine already has good precision ground ball screws installed. And I have a couple of extra Bridgeport CNC heads I could swap over. It also came with an extra box of parts, which included spare Y axis servo, servo mount, ball screw, and ball screw yoke, and an entire Prototrack MX2 computer housing and pendant which uh, as you will see in the video I ended up needing that pendant. I'm still wrapped up in my Bridgeport Boss Centroid conversion but needed a break from that and I didn't want something that I could just turn on learn to operate and start making some chips. I also want to learn how the Prototrack system operates and if possible I will try to learn how to support the system. Convert the floppy drive to USB flash drive connect it to a modern PC to drip feed code and find an economical monitor replacement option as this is quite expensive to do. So here's a quick walk around of the machine and after the video I'm going to include some stills on the before and after the table cleanup. I cleaned the table with some fine scotch Brite pads WD-40 and acetone. That was followed up by a nice once over with the precision brown flat stones aka Rob Renzetti. I can't do anything about Bubba and his hammer and chisel marks on the table, but it did come up with a beautiful burnish from the flat stones, and surprisingly it cleaned up well. A couple of notes about the machine. The serial number shows it as a 1963. I'm curious to the fact that it has a Barry Speed head. If anyone knows what year the Barry Speed head came out, please leave that in the comments. You can also see that it must have had the old push oilers installed at some point as there are some brass fittings installed in the front of this saddle. The bedways are chrome plated and are all in very good shape. You can, see, you can still see all the scrapings including the ones under the table. I wonder if that's original or if they were just rebuilt at some point. Well one last note, after I made the video I noticed a couple of the oil lines were cracked and leaking. You'll see some pictures of that after the video. So I suppose that will be the content of my next video. Well enough talking, here's the video. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Hey guys. So uh, I got the proto track delivered finally today. She needs a bit of a cleanup job but she looks to be in fairly good condition. All the scrapings are still there. Um, got quite a patina on it, but you know, that's not gonna work for me. So of course, as soon as she came in, uh, I needed to plug her in. And if not to see the spindle work, I wanted to see the actual uh, prototrack system, if it functioned or not. And um, so you can see there's two pendants. The bottom one's the original pendant and I powered it up and I got no power. Uh, no, no, nothing lit up. I heard the computer running, but that was nothing. So fortunately, I had gotten a box of spare parts with this and including a whole nother computer and a whole nother pendant. So first thing I tried, since I heard the computer running, this, is, this runs off a floppy drive, but uh, so I swapped out the pendant. And it wasn't very hard to do. You could see there was a DB25 and two power cables in the ground, and uh, and then there was a uh, there's a, like a little jogging button or a button that takes you to the next step in the program. So I swapped those out. Give you a quick look at the computer. This bad boy is working off 110 volts. And that also powers the X and Y. And there's your computer. She's a 386. Um, 
and it's this kind of works off of travel dials I don't know if they're steppers or servos but uh, after tightening some loose connections I was getting some servo faults uh, and uh, cleaning up the ways a little bit and you know getting the oiler there's an automatic oiler well, I shouldn't say automatic a one shot I probably want to put something that's um, powered so I don't have to keep pumping it she works so I haven't really gotten into any programmings yet but uh she jogs X and Y if I do like a power feed and I'll do an X and I'll do one inch And then I press go. X and Y works and she does rapids too. So I'm going to start cleaning her up and I'm going to bring you back and uh, keep you updated on my progress. All right. Thanks guys. Stay safe out there.